Yo guys, what's going on? It's up here. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to use ink overlays or any other black and white overlays that you may have seen on the internet. And there are already some tutorials on YouTube showing how to do this, as you can see here. But these tutorials are all meant for the edit page and none show how to do it inside Fusion if you are doing a Fusion workflow for your effects. So I'm gonna be showing how to do that today. So to get started, you're gonna to wanna to open a new Fusion comp. And I don't recommend doing this on a clip because it'll just make the inputs more complicated. So we're going to start on a blank slate just like this. So now you're going to want to add your first clip. So I'm going to use this one right here and then press two on your keyboard while having it selected to put it in the viewer. And as you can see, mine plays all the way through and it has exactly 60 frames. So what you're going to want to do after that is grab your ink overlay. As you can see, this is the one I'm using right here. It's a 4K ink overlay. So go back to viewing your media. And what you're gonna wanna do is go and select the ink overlay and just plug that into the mask input of your media, which is the blue input right here. And after you do that, nothing will change. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to the actual media of your clip, go into the settings property in the inspector, and then go down to channel and change it from alpha to luminance. And now, as you can see, we have our ink overlay affecting the luminance which means that it will only take the black parts and then it will make them transparent. And if you want to change it so that it actually gets rid of the white part and leaves the black, you can just click apply mask inverted and it will do that effect right here. So now what you're going to want to do is if you have a different resolution overlay, your clip might not be properly scaled. So what I recommend doing is adding a scale node right here before the media and after the overlay. And what you can do is you can actually go and change the sizing here to fit how you want. So as as you can see right about there, that's the entire view of the ink overlay for me, but you can always change it to fit your needs and the size that you want it to expand to. And now when I play it, it'll just wipe everything, but you can change this to your liking. So from here, what you're gonna wanna do is add your second clip. So I'm gonna add that onto my node grid right here. And now that I have it down here is add a merge. So you can just drag one from the toolbar right here and then connect this to the merge and then take the top media and connect this down into the merge and then connect this to the media out. And now if you view the media out this is what you're going to see if you play the video as you can see it transitions over to the bottom one and you can also change the scaling i'm going to change it back down here and then i can even click invert now you actually have the second clip first going into the first clip if you click apply mask inverted but for me i'm just going to toggle this off and now i have my ink overlay transition I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial as I've seen some people wondering how to do it inside Fusion because all the tutorials were for the edit page and it is kind of a hard thing to find out. So if this helped you guys, please drop a like on the video and subscribe. It would help me out a ton and I will see you guys next time. Later.